rubs are great and I encourage you to go through your spice cabinet and look at all the things you have the flavors that you like and start putting some rubs together for meats fish for vegetables so today I'm going to make one for salmon and I love this Tom and I eat a lot of this and I keep it in a little container like this in my pantry I have a quarter cup of dried dill weed and then I have about a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder and I'm going to put that in there and then I want to use a little bit of cayenne. Now this is of course optional and one that you can adjust to your own liking. I usually use about a half teaspoon for this amount. Then I'm going to take some smoked paprika. Now you don't have to use smoked, you can use regular. I have about two teaspoons, uh, sorry, two tablespoons of uh, paprika in there. Half teaspoon of pepper and then about a teaspoon of salt. You don't want to over salt. Um, but you don't want to under salt either. Salt really is just going to um, enhance this flavor. But then you've got this wonderful rub and you can sprinkle it on your fish. Usually what I do is I sprinkle a little bit on my salmon and then I'll take just a touch of olive oil or butter and drizzle over the top. It gives it a gorgeous crust and it's so delicious. It takes about 10 minutes for a large fillet of salmon, uh, probably about a 10 inch fillet of salmon um, at about 425. So I hope you'll enjoy this. Use it on your trout as well and on other fish and I think you'll really, really like it. So until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, enjoy your family and enjoy your time in the kitchen.